What is up guys, it is Mr. Slave bringing you yet another gameplay video. We are currently 4-0 on the season, in the hunt for those playoffs. Hopefully we can get a W today. Let's go. We both got pretty nice teams, Jason Taylor, Joey Porter, and Bruce Smith. Heading up against Derek Brooks, Walter Jones, and Terrell Davis. Always a tough card to stop, but I think my team's up for the challenge. Should be a good one. We are starting with the ball on offense. Definitely got to get something going early against this defense. Hopefully Tavon can give us a jump start. Good blocks. Good spin move down to the 32. First and 10. I don't know why, but I feel like hopping out in the 5 wide. We'll see what our guys can do. First and 10. We're going to look for our tight end over the middle. Tight end is not open, but why? Looks like he's going to get open. Oh, come on. The lag. I had him. Kind of laggy. Could have sworn I had Amari Cooper wide open streaking across the field. But instead, John Randall makes a beast of a play. Gets the sack. This guy's running cover three sky. Hopefully we can find a man open deep. Oh my goodness, this pressure is unbelievable. Alright baby, third and 18. This game is lagging absurdly. Gonna try to make a play. He is trying to send a gap heat on us. Not gonna work. It looks like we have room to scramble. Come on, cut up field, Mariota. Keep going. That's a first down. Let's go, man. Playing up against a good team. He's getting pressure. A little bit laggy. We got to be really careful with our passes. But then again, we can't get too conservative. Got to move this ball down the field. Hopefully someone will get open. He's using a... We check down to Delaney Walker. And what a terrible animation. Why would he come back for that? If he keeps running, I swear that's a first down. But we're going to run that same play. He can't defend both Jimmy Graham and Delaney. So we got to hope we make the right read this time. Got a lot of dudes in zones. We got to be careful here. Oh, he's got that covered. And he gets almost instant pressure. Man, this is crazy. This guy's got seven or eight dudes in zones. Getting crazy pressure off the edge. Kind of a frustrating game. We're going for it on fourth down. Hopefully, we can find a man open over the middle. That's one on one. Let's go, Jimmy Graham. Hold on to that. Oh, my God, Jimmy. You got to catch that. Come on. Man, it is lagging so bad. It's hard for me to pick plays. Hate the fact that on offense, he can just drop back into quarters defense and just chill while I get lagged into a sack. But it's all good. Third and nine. Got to make a stop here. Jason Taylor coming streaming. Get that sack. Let's go. This dude is able to send man blitzes. He is routinely killing us in man coverage. We got to get something going. Do not want to sack. Fumble for safety. Oh, he A-gaps us. And Mariota fumbles it out the back of the end zone. That's a safety. Super frustrating because dude's got a really high octane offense, but really hasn't done much. But at the same token, neither have I, and it's been really hurting me this game so far. Given up at least three sacks already. That's come on, Porter! Hits him right in the hands. Yo, if we got a chance to get a pick and get us in field goal range already, or a potential pick six, we gotta make that play there. Huge game-changing play, blown opportunity. Got to try to stop him on third down, see what we can do. Hopefully we can get that one back, boys. Can we get a turnover? Come on now. Let's watch the middle. He's got tight ends going. Oh, he got his running back. Good sack fumble. He recovers it. Come on, get him down. Get him down. Good fumble. We didn't recover it, but that's okay. We'll get this ball back. Nothing has been working for us so far. He's in a heavily laden zone defense. Got two safeties back, so I figured why not. Let's see if the Wildcat will work for us here. Pitches it to the outside. He has one man to beat. Breaks a tackle. Cut up the field, Forte. Let's go. What a play. He's been playing the pass very heavily and still been very successful against stopping the run. So that run play was definitely a breath of fresh air. He's hopping out in man here, I think. He's blitzing us again. Let's see if we can catch him off guard on the screen. Get open field. Oh, he had nobody else there to tackle him. All the blocks were picked up. Had an extra blocker there. Thought we could have gotten a lot more there. Maybe even six. But we'll take five yards. We got to be smart here. Not get sacked in the lag. I see A wide open over the middle. Let's go, Demarius. Good catch. Hold on to that ball. He is running an A-gap blitz that I am very familiar with. I enjoy running it myself sometimes. And it's how he got a couple sacks on us previously. But that doesn't happen if we keep the ball on the ground. Got to keep the ball on the ground here. Make sure we don't give up a sack or a sack fumble. All right, third and goal at the four-yard line. I'm going to run it here. Really can't risk a pick or a pick six here. 
Uh, maybe more experienced players would know some great pass plays out routes that would work. But, oh, come on. It doesn't matter. We're getting in the end zone with Gurley. Considering how I've played so far this game, especially on offense, I'm just happy to be up 7-2. to two. We're going to hope that our defense can step up and at the very least hold them to three. And then we'll go into the second half. First and ten, what's he looking for? Oh, he might be going deep. He might be going deep. Don't you let him do it. That's double coverage. Please get us a pick. Get us his ball back. Let's go, Outwater. Let's go. Clock is still going, but we have three timeouts. Over 40 seconds left. Hopefully, we can get something going. Let's see what defense he's in. He's running a blitz. We're attacking the flats. There's nobody there. Cut up field, Gurley. Come on now. Cutting up field. Getting out of bounds. Good play by Gurley. Now, this is the part of the field against most opponents. I love to go for it all, you know, run some slants across the middle, but I'm really not confident, especially with how his defense has been playing. We're going to run it up the middle. We got a hole, and Gurley is in the end zone again. Kicking off the ball to the opponent. Actually got a decent kickoff, which is surprising in this lag. And again, for that, I apologize if I upload this and the game's pausing every couple seconds. I'm really sorry that you guys have to watch that. But it's been a decent game so far. As long as we do not give up a score here, I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Get some pressure against the opponent. Really hard to make adjustments in the lag. But let's send some heat up the middle against him since he's been doing it to us. Let's get some heat. Try to force a sack. Maybe sack fumble. Get this ball back. Jason Taylor streaming. Yeah, baby. We can send eight gaps too, boy. You can blitz us, but my Jason Taylor is out for blood. Fourth and 13. Big play here. Hopefully we can get to the quarterback. Get this ball in scoring position try to put this game away with a touchdown guys just don't get brought over top that is all I ask of you Keekly guard the middle hopefully Bolden or Selleck does not get a catch all right good protection he doesn't have anybody's got to chuck it deep he's gonna have to chuck it deep that's a one-on-one -on -one. come on Sherman Sherman on Finneran oh my gosh what a catch come on fourth and 13 potentially our ball up by two scores right in scoring position again instead one-on-one -on -one with Sherman he gets an amazing throw and catch good play by my opponent really frustrating he's still in this game but that's okay come on give me that let's go that's mine game the worst feeling has got to be catching a user and having yourself go three and out on the very next drive so we're gonna try to make sure that doesn't happen make sure we don't go four and out we're going for it on fourth and four let's get this try to put this game away with a drive down the field Come on, boys. I believe in you. Mariota got no A-gap. Oh, he gets a block shed. Come on. Throw it to Y. Throw it to Y. Come back for that. Yes! Amari Cooper throws on the run, and he makes the connection. All right. Huge play on fourth down. It's now second and ten for us. He's running a lot of man, a lot of man blitzes. That's why I love this play. Hopefully, we can get a man open. Hopefully, our tight end can get some separation. He does. Oh, but he gets bumped. Where's the PI, ref? Bro, that was a first down and then some. I don't know if it was the lag, but I saw the corner coming across the other side of the field. Jimmy Graham would have been left wide open. Super frustrating, but he gets some separation again. Throw that right between the defenders, and he cannot hold on to it. And I really felt that on that play, Jimmy Graham could have gotten six or a huge gain. Instead, we are forced into a fourth and ten. I don't even care. I'm going for it. He doesn't get heat. Thank God. Jimmy Graham's streaking across the field, but it doesn't matter. There is no one there, and we are out the pocket with Mariota. Dangerous spin move. Thank God he did not fumble. Hey, just as I told myself earlier, we did not want to force myself into third and fourth downs, but we have once again. Gonna look for Mike Cooper. Oh, he gets a gap heat right there. Get rid of it. That's a fumble. What? How does that ball even go in that direction? All right, second and goal, two-minute warning is passed. A pick here, a stop. It, that could be the game right here for us. Huge next three downs. Got to see if we can get something going. Come on, boys. I'm here on Derek Brooks. Don't throw that. Don't throw that. He's running. He's running. No, we missed him. What? Romo gets in the end zone. All right, since he's been A-gapping, I'm going to try to run this play again. Get some blocking from my fullback. Got to get something going. Maybe Jimmy Graham won't get bumped this time. Who knows? He's got QB contains, but we got RB open. Good catch by Delaney. Trying to back juke for some reason. I wanted to spin, but that's okay. Very pivotal play right here because if we get a first down here, it doesn't matter if he gets the ball back or if we don't score or whatever. He will have significantly less time, whatever happens. And we get to the outside. Let's go. That's a first down and more. Holds on to the ball. From a game that I thought would turn into a blowout from that sack fumble in the end zone safety giving him the ball back he had ball at half 
I thought it would get out of hand, but we've hung tight. Just give me a first down, and we can win this game. Come on. Oh, and now it's lagging more than ever. Is this guy serious? Is this dude serious? Right? Is he really lagging me for a win? Don't you do this. Kick him for grief. Wow. So, the summary of that game is that we played a purposefully laggy opponent, Cowboys 1907, and we legitimately got the win, but we will be 4-1 and one on the season instead of 5-0 and oh because he decided to IP boot us. Gotta love it when people don't legitimately get their wins. So, um... I'm pissed right now, that's really frustrating, but I guess I'll still upload this. You guys can report this bum or whatever. You know, I'm gonna take a break from Mutt. I'm so sick of, I mean, you, you can only lose one or two games if you wanna buy. You gotta win most of them, and when you're playing against good opponents, it's hard to get wins, and when you're taking L's because IP booters. Man, that's stupid. Well, I, I guess that's an L? Uh, not a GG to the opponent. Should have been our W, but there you guys go. Gameplay. Got IP booted by a bum on video, unfortunately, but if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Share this video, and I will see you guys in the next gameplay. <sighs> Fuck you, IP booters.